Hey guys, Brian with York Propulsion. Today we're going to talk about wastegate actuator crack pressure on the 1446 variant turbos. So there's a common misconception out there that you can set these wastegate actuators with millimeters of preload, which is just not the most effective way to do it, but if your tuner tells you to do that, that's fine. But if you're tuning with us, you're going to want to use some sort of pressure pump. We would recommend like a Mighty Vac pressure pump, vacuum pump combo thing. And what we do is we just take silicone, route it directly to the actuator itself, and then you're going to just simulate boost. So you're going to pump it up. And as soon as you see this move right here, that's your crack pressure. And now see where that is on the gauge there. 7 PSI roughly, that's about what stock should be. So now that we've gone ahead and tightened up our wastegate actuator, we're going to show you how it changes crack pressure. I only turned it two full turns and that shouldn't change the crack pressure very much. All right, so I moved a little bit, but that wasn't, it needs to move just enough to push this flapper a touch. All right, All right so look at that. So that's about seven and a half PSI. All right, guys, so we just put on a forged wastegate actuator. Now, this actuator is what we recommend for all of our phase tunes, but it is required for phase three specifically. And the reasons for that are it has a lot of adjustability because you can swap the internal spring in this diaphragm here. And it also has a lot more of a crisp actuation due to the higher spring rates than factory. And then furthermore, it actually prevents boost bleed a little bit with a better seal. All right, so we put it on. So as you can see here, it's pretty dang far from the wastegate flapper fully maxed seated inside the turb housing. So you're gonna wanna pull this over, put it on that, that's your preload. So that's keeping this nice and sealed back in the turbine housing, preventing any sort of boost bleeding. That's pretty dang important. So make sure you have some preload in there to keep this seated good and nice. All right, so we're gonna see, we haven't adjusted this or anything, but we're gonna see where it is as far as what crack pressure is. All right, so we got some movement. That's actually perfect. Straight out of the box, 15 PSI crack pressure. That is exactly what you want. Now watch it again. So at 15 PSI, I'm gonna release the pressure. Boom, you even heard it. It's seated beautifully. It, the preload is a lot more there too, because on the stock one, it kind of was flapping a little bit, but it was, it was okay, but this is a lot better. All right, so that's how you check your wastegate crack pressure, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.